hello and welcome to your bedtime yoga flow. This will be about a 10 minute flow to get you settled in for your evening. So whether you're coming back from work or going out, wherever you're at, we're gonna come onto the floor. If you can do this flow on your bed or on the mat or on your living room floor, you're gonna place your hands behind you comfortably, legs as wide as the mat would be, a little bit wider than your hips, and you're gently just gonna drop your legs right and left sitting back loose, sitting up the lower spine. Slow deep breaths here. Try to either close your eyes or focus only on the breath. We're gonna drop ourselves left, so the left leg is leading, right leg bent behind. Inhale, grow tall, exhale, twist. Placing your right hand on that left knee. Inhale, tall, and exhale. Keep your legs exactly where they are. We're gonna twist the other side. So that left hand comes in front to the right thigh right hand behind your lower back, gentle twist, inhale, twist back towards the left shoulder, placing your right hand on your knee, facing towards the back of the mat, inhale, exhale, twist in the opposite direction, turning yourself right, left hand on the right thigh. Exhale, carefully press the hands behind you again, adjust your hips and sitting bones, and we're gonna gently rock and wash that out side to side. We'll, of course, we'll do the other side. Dropping the legs to the right, right leg is leading. Left leg faces the front, inhale. As we exhale, we twist, looking over our right shoulder. And exhale, we twist, looking over our left shoulder. Right hand on that front knee. Inhale, exhale, twist. Left hand on that right knee. Inhale, pass through, exhale, one more twist. Right hand to that left knee. And let's place the hands behind us and wash it out one more time, legs side to side. We're gonna come down carefully to the floor or your mat or your bed, wherever you're at. Carefully lower yourself down and hug your knees in nice and wide, pressing your lower back into the floor. Move the toes around, roll the ankles, flex and point, whatever feels good. Roll the shoulders back and down into the floor. Drop your heels, knees are bent. Take the right leg up to the ceiling. Flex the toes back to your face and then point the toes up towards the ceiling, turning your head left and right gently or keeping your gaze right on your toes. Roll the ankle around if it feels good, one way and then the other. We're gonna bend and flex the right foot over the left thigh into our pigeon stretch, recline pigeon stretch. And if it feels okay, Lace the fingers behind the left thigh. Let's flex both feet. Still pressing lower back flat into the mat or your bed. Taking three to four slow inhales and exhales. Release the foot, hands by your side. Take the right leg, cross it completely over the left. Lift your hips up and move them slightly to the right, let's say two or three inches. Arms can come to a T, palms facing down, inhale. As you exhale, hug the knees in, and then exhale, drop your legs cross to the left side. Your arms can stay by the side, or you can move them up into goal post arms, cactus arms with palms facing up. Either one is fine, do what feels better in the shoulders. You wanna make sure both shoulders are in contact with the surface that you're lying on. Again, we're taking three to four slow, deep inhales and exhales here. Inhale, the belly expands. Exhale, contracts, letting go. Every exhale, letting go. Bring the hands by your side, move the legs center, uncross. Shift the hips back to the center of your surface and gently let's wash that out, legs going right and left. We're gonna do the other leg, so come to center. Hug those legs in really wide, roll the feet around, roll the ankles around, spread out the toes. Plant the right foot into the mat, left leg extends up. Flex the toes towards you and point them away. Gently rock your head right and left, only if it feels good. Nice flat back. When you're ready, we're gonna cross the left leg over the right into our pigeon stretch. And you have the option to lace the fingers behind the right thigh flexing both feet. Every exhale, letting go, letting go. Release 
your hands, cross the left leg over the right, hands by your hips, and scoot your hips left. We're gonna inhale, arms to a T, exhale, drop the legs towards the right side of the body, and again, arms can stay by your side, palms facing down, or you can go to cactus arms as I'm demonstrating, just keeping your shoulders on the mat. So you can see I'm a little tighter on this side, so my um, right hip is lifting a bit more off the mat. You can see that space. You're always tighter on one side. And then we're gonna bring our hands by our hips, palms down. Bring the legs back to center, uncross. Again, pull the knees in wide, pressing the lower back into the floor, maybe rock side to side. Squeeze the knees in close. You can stay there. You can reach for your ankles or your feet and do a full happy baby. You can do extended happy baby as I'm demonstrating. I'm gonna turn so you can see a little bit better. Legs can go out wide. You can bend both knees. You can bend one knee at a time. Explore and play with how your hips feel this evening. After a few slow deep breaths again, we are going to release the feet or the legs and bring them together above our head into legs up wall pose. So releasing the feet, bring the hands right by your side. Close the legs right above you. So for legs up wall pose, if you are physically next to a wall, you can obviously go ahead and put your legs up against it. Otherwise, you can keep them floating if you're in a central location like I am. Some people prefer to put a bolster or block under your hips, so feel free to do so. You can flex and point your toes or just remain still and softly close the eyes. This brings the whole nervous system down, preparing you for sleep, releasing stress, anxiety, when you're ready, bend your knees into your chest again. Relax your feet, drop them to the mat. We're gonna slowly roll onto our right side and then onto our stomach. Carefully, slowly making your way to child's pose. Feet together, knees can be together or wide. Hands go forward, pressing hips down to heels. Forehead on your surface area. Walk the hands forward even more for a deeper stretch in the shoulders. And then inhale, cat back, rise tall into tabletop. Separate the legs. Take the right foot behind you. Tuck the toes under, lengthen through that leg. And then when you're ready, slowly drag that right bent knee in between your hands. Walk the left foot back. We're going into pigeon stretch here. Inhale, grow tall, chest forward, long spine. And as you exhale, carefully walk yourself down. You can cradle your head and your arms. You can rub out the space between your eyebrows, that place that gets really tense from staring at screens all day or just being stressed out in general. You can also just roll, if you are on a hard surface, roll the forehead into the floor. Let's come up onto the hands, shoulders back and down, tuck the back toes under. We're gonna step that right leg back. So very carefully, we're gonna shift our way back. Inhale, exhale, step the right foot back. Bring the left knee forward, keep the right toes behind you, flex back, lengthening through that leg. Let your right leg breathe, carefully draw it in. We're going to bring the left knee now between our hands and walk the right leg back. Take your time. You can always put something under your hip if it doesn't quite touch the floor. Inhale and as you exhale, slowly walk yourself down to your forearms and relax into the floor. Massaging your forehead, the space between your eyebrows. Close the eyes. We're in no rush here. Taking another slow deep breath, prepare to come back up onto your hands. 
Inhaling and then exhaling, rising up onto the hands, slowly shifting our weight back into tabletop. So carefully push your weight back into your right leg. Take a moment to extend that left leg, tucking the toes under, letting that leg get some air. Draw the feet together one more time, push yourself down, hips dropping to heels. Child's pose again. And let's lift our hips, separate the feet if they were together. Gaze falls your right arm up to the ceiling and then as you exhale, thread the right arm underneath your left. Dropping head to the mat, your hips can lift. Walk your left hand forward. Explore the space in your shoulders of what feels good here. We'll do that to the other side. Bring the right hand in, inhale. Left arm flies, gaze follows. Exhale, thread it underneath. Lengthen that right arm forward and the left arm sideways. Your arms are going in L shape. Close the eyes, relax the head and neck. Carefully slide the right arm in when you're ready to come up. Lift the head. Push one more time down to child's pose. Feet can be together now, knees can be together or wide. Hands can come to the front of the mat or you can come to prayer hands above your head. Release the hands. Roll up to tabletop and carefully make your way onto your back to lay all the way down. Nice and easy and slow, rolling all the way back. Lengthen the legs, the arms, and close the eyes. Let the ankles roll out to the side, the knees. Let your palms be facing up and roll the shoulders back and down into the floor below you. If you could be 5% more comfortable, move and shift to do what you need to do to make yourself that much more comfortable. If you wanna go ahead and massage the area between your eyes again, feel free, or you can place your hands over your heart or keep them by your side palms facing up. Inhale through the nose, chest expands. Exhale through the nose or mouth, let go. Inhale. Exhale, let go. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful night's sleep. Mm -hmm.